So what we have talked in the previous classes, air, atmosphere, composition of air, these three sub concepts were discussed in the first video and properties of air was discussed in the last video. I have made only two videos before it and this is third video. In this video I am going to talk about air and its uses. Air and its uses is the concept that we are going to discuss in this video students. Students I go through the text and I will explain you just please follow me. If you have this textbook with you, you please open page number 149. Okay, page number 149. Yeah, students, air and its uses. Air is needed for breathing. And do you know any other uses of air? You just question yourself. Ask yourself, students. What are the uses of air? If you just close your nose like this, you please don't try it. So, it's very necessary for breathing. Air is needed for what? Breathing. All living beings need oxygen to survive. Survive means to live. Okay? To live their life. All living beings need oxygen to survive. And oxygen is used by animals to produce energy. Our body needs not only air, but the special component of air is necessary for our body that produces energy. What is that? Oxygen. What is that? Oxygen. Students, oxygen is used by animals to produce what energy? The oxygen goes into the lungs. Where does it go? Oxygen is a component of air. You know, in the mixture of gases, in the mixture of air that we have talked about, there are different components present in the air. Oxygen is one of them. Oxygen goes when when we breathe in. Oxygen goes into the lungs. Where does it go? Along with other components of air, oxygen also goes into the lungs. And from there, it is carried by... The book is given with some mistake. From there is given, but that's not correct. From there. From there, it's carried by the blood to every part of the body. Students, after the air goes into the lungs, after the air goes into the lungs, where does it go? Then, what is the next step? From there, oxygen is carried by the blood to every part of our body, students. Okay? Next, food is burnt there by oxygen and carbon dioxide is produced and thrown out from the lungs. And the burnt word is used here, no? That is not... That is not like something that burns outside our body, you know, sticks, woods, papers that we burn sometime, not like that. But what is that? It's a process. Food is burnt there by oxygen and carbon dioxide is produced and thrown out from the lungs. So the food that we are eating, the food is burnt by the oxygen that we are breathing. And then what is produced? Carbon dioxide is produced and thrown out from the lungs. See, in the same way, same way, how the oxygen is carried by a channel like, you know, through nose and lungs and to the body parts through the blood. In the same way, in the reverse manner, carbon dioxide is carried out, thrown out from the lungs. Okay? This process is called respiration. What is respiration, students? You can see here. This process is called respiration. What is respiration? There may be a question for you like, you know, what is respiration? Food is burnt in the body parts by oxygen and carbon dioxide is produced and thrown out from the lungs. This process is called respiration. Okay, as simple as that. Okay. Next use of air is air carries information. You know how air carries information? Let's go through the text and let's get understanding of this matter. Air around us carries information. Without air, the drum would beat, but you would not hear it. Students, what are the sounds around us? That, that without air, the drum would beat, but you would not hear it. In the sense, what does it mean? The sounds that we hear around us only because of air, presence of air. Okay, only because presence of 
a because it carries the sound waves through it and it makes us to hear students you may have a doubt here some deaf people they know how don't they hear means that is their physical problem there is another system present in our body the problem of their ears that is why they can't hear but we are all able to hear the sounds in the sense because the air is getting the information through it okay next when you speak or clap the air around you vibrates and then these vibrations reach your ears and your ears turn them into sound okay students this is how we can hear the sound this is how we can hear the sound and we get some information around us okay and next use of air that air pressure important in daily life how air pressure is important students air pressure plays an important role in our daily life how it plays an important role air pressure plays an important role in our daily life students we are breathing and we are getting information through air but how it plays an important role in our daily life you know air pressure also plays an important role in our daily life it seems you can see many things like a syringe dropper drinking straw hand pump and many other things work on the principle of air pressure students this is how we can understand how air pressure is playing an important role in our daily life students here doctors give you injection sometimes no how does the doctor use the syringe in the syringe he pulls the piston in the syringe barrel okay he pulls the piston he pulls back the piston in the syringe barrel and then while he was pulling back what happens the the the, the medicine that which is there in the injection is also carried back or pulled back into the syringe barrel you know how is this happening because of air pressure because of what air pressure and also dropper sometimes you might have experienced that children are given polio drops or children are given some tonic drops because of air pressure only we are able to use a dropper we are getting water drops or tonic drops or medicine drops or whatever it is next drinking straw i think you might have experienced that drinking coconut water how do you drink you insert a straw into it and you pull the air into your mouth in the process what happens the water also comes into your mouth along with the air that you are pulling into your mouth that you are pulling into your mouth students this is also because of air pressure okay and hand pump hand pump and many other hand pump in the sense you know in villages you might have seen we the people get uh, water from the hand pump moving up and down you know moving up and down like this they get water through it right that is also because of principle of air pressure okay students have you got this uh, what are the uses of air okay air and its uses so you please try to remember what are the uses of air and you please try to understand remember and try to write and your assignment is to write what is respiration and you just mention what are the uses of air air and its uses with the heading air and uses you just mention what are the uses of air and it's better if you give the complete explanation in the written form okay thank you thank you for listening and thank you one and all